Tonight, the Golden State faces a severe salmon shortage. California's largest fish hatchery, it's on the Sacramento River, will release six million fewer fish. The Upper Sacramento is the one that's going to be hurting. The Coleman Fish Hatchery near Redding typically releases 12 million salmon, but in 2018, they're only going to release half that target. And new tonight, CBS 13's Macy Jenkins joins us in the newsroom getting answers on how reduced salmon supply will impact California. Macy. Well, Curtis and Angela, this started three years ago when Chinook salmon from Coleman Hatchery in Anderson were carried by truck to the Delta. Fish that instinctively return home after two to three years, but this fall, fewer returned than expected. And now now the hatchery expects to release far fewer fish than anticipated. Salmon need cold water. They need to have it to survive. They need it for their eggs to live throughout the winter. But back in 2014, the drought made those conditions impossible for millions of Chinook salmon in the Sacramento River. So 12 million fish were loaded into trucks at Coleman National Fish Hatchery and driven 280 miles to the Delta. Survival will be much, much higher than if those fish were released into the drought-stricken river where the hatchery is. In fact, some estimates suggest that the survival will be up to 18 times higher than if the fish were released at the hatchery. Coleman typically expects 30,000 fish to return, but this fall only 3,000 or 10 percent of those fish found their way back. And this spring, the hatchery will only be able to release 6 million of the 12 million salmon they typically release. The Upper Sacramento is the one that's going to be hurting. I asked Vance Staplin with the Golden Gate Salmon Association how that shortage will affect the salmon population across the state. They've got good returns in the other hatcheries. Coleman's the one that's down dramatic, dr dramatically. Staplin explains that in order to see healthy salmon numbers, we need water flowing from the mountains to push the salmon down the river. Fish taken from Coleman have a coated wire tag in their tails, so they're easy to track. U.S. Fish and Wildlife says the hatchery had a fairly good return of two-year fish come back, which is a good sign that there are still a fair number that will return home in the future. There's indicators out there, but we're really not going to know anything for two years. Nobody knows for sure. They're, we're talking fish here. Now, this year, the fish were released in Battle Creek near Coleman Hatchery. Shane Hunt with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife says we won't know if the salmon population has bounced back until 2020. All right, Macy, thank you.